With COVID cases still averaging about 16,000 a day in California, officials are understandably nervous about the Super Bowl becoming a super spreader event. And based on the mask wearing at the playoff games, getting people to wear masks might be a challenge. Here's Jim Murray. Masks will be mandatory at this year's Super Bowl. Everyone coming to this year's Super Bowl will get one of these, an N95 mask. The big question, will they wear them? Last weekend at SoFi Stadium, where the Super Bowl will be held in 10 days' time, the vast majority of fans ignored L.A.'s mask mandate for outdoor mega events. Even L.A.'s mayor, Eric Arcetti, didn't always keep his mask on, at least when he took a photo with Magic Johnson. He's facing ridicule today for his bizarre explanation. When people ask for a photograph, I hold my breath and I put it here and people could see that. There's a 0% chance of infection from that. He wasn't the breaking the rules because he held his breath. Right. That's exactly. a new one. Absolutely. Three years in, that's a new one. At the Super Bowl, officials say the 80,000 fans will be greeted with signs like this. The staff is on hand to remind people to mask up. You'll see a lot of these around the uh, stadium. You see the game last Sunday and you see thousands and thousands of maskless faces screaming. How do you go about enforcing it? Holding up a sign saying, please put your mask on, isn't necessarily going to send the message. In the end, it's the responsibility of the people to take care of themselves, their families, and their friends. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva is in charge of security at the big game. How in the world do you enforce mask wearing? Are you supposed to arrest people? We're not going to be the first responder being the mask police. I don't think that's our role. People who refuse to put on a mask after being told to do so could face a fine ranging from $100 to $500.